What is up everyone? Mecha here. Welcome back to Three Houses. Part 2. We're past the time skip now. Holy shit, I can't believe it. We beat part 1. We ended with that ridiculous cutscene where Rhea turned into a dragon and I beat the shit out of a bunch of soldiers. Then she got, like, overwhelmed by a bunch of monsters. Bleth tried to free her. Bleth got blasted into the abyss or whatever it was. Some kind of cliff. And Rhea vanished at some point and Edelgard basically took over from what I can tell. And we're about to see what are the consequences of that before this game like throws another cutscene at me. So let's see how it goes. R2, time skip, let's go. Really curious what's about to happen. I still have green hair apparently. So we know Rhea vanished. We don't know what happened to Beleth. I don't know what happened Part to two, any of my students. Ardent wind. Ethereal moon. Reunion at dawn. A reunion already? Well, it's not going to go well, is it? We know what Claude said about it. It is Imperial Year 1185. Nearly five years have passed since the fall of the monastery at Garrig Mach, and war continues to plague the lands of Fodland. Okay, so it's still going on. Ferdiad has been captured. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in shambles. The Leicester Alliance is on the verge of collapse, fractured by two opposing factions, those who support the Adrestian Empire and its ruler, and those who seek her demise. Right, they split up. I remember that. Meanwhile, under Emperor Edelgard's rule of law, the Adrestian Empire continues to expand its reach. The path to a new Fodlan, unified by Imperial strength, may yet be in sight. Yes, very clearly is. Very much Arvis. Very Arvis. This game could not be more if you for ref referential. You. How long do you intend to sleep? That's fucking Sothis. I thought we were done with Sothis. He's back. Your body is awake. Your eyes must open now, and you must find the strength to stand upon those legs of I thought you said this wouldn't happen anymore. Like so much rain, a pool of blood has fallen to the ground. As spears and arrows pierce the earth, it weeps. And even now, it weeps. I mean, Sothis actually kind of grew on me in a way, but I'm really surprised to hear her voice now. In order to survive, they kill. And so the people of this world are lost in an abyss of suffering. They weep as well. It reminds me of what Dimitri said. He wanted to stop the cycle of the strong trampling the weak. Something like that. The only one who truly knows the nature of such things is I. Or rather, you. Yeah, because we're one. He's so sleepy. Oh. <laughs> uh, this is more appropriate, I think. Like, Excuse me? Are you saying you have forgotten who I am? How dare you! Come on. Get on your feet. Right now. I'll coddle you no more. You are just like a child, always needing me to hold your hand. Uh, hey, what? Are you awake? Oh, okay. Uh, where am I? We're in a village at the base of the monastery. What are you doing in a place like this? I honestly didn't expect to find someone floating away down the river. Mm. Garrig Mach is upstream of here, but that place was abandoned. What do you mean? Huh? You don't know? The Church of Saros isn't there anymore. Damn. Though, there have been some folks still living there in the five years since... Well, you know. Wait, hold up. I've been unconscious for five years? No way, right? Anyway, I've heard some thieves have been spotted around those parts these days. I look, the, I look the same after five years. Well, I guess Gerald didn't age, so I guess I don't either. Um, five years? <laughs> what year is it? Um, are you feeling all right? You didn't hit your head or anything, did you? Totally did. It's the ethereal moon of the year 1185. It's been nearly five years since the monastery fell. I guess that's one way to tomorrow get a time skip. supposed to be the Millennium Festival, but who's got time to think about things like oh, that? Oh, reunions tomorrow. Millennium Festival. Wonder if they'll come. Uh, yeah, that's what I said. But with the war and the archbishop still missing at all, I doubt there's a soul to be found who has enough blessings worth counting. <laughs> hey, slow down, will ya? Where do you think you're going? The monastery. Are you crazy? I, I told you. They say thieves are running amok up there. And there's plenty of other dangers, too. It's okay. Come on. I'm God. I promise I won't say you're a coward. Just forget about going anywhere near the monastery. You just remember, I tried to stop you. Got it? 
It's not on my conscience if you wind up dead. Don't need to worry about me. My students are waiting for me. <laughs> students? You really are crazy, aren't you? There aren't any kids anywhere near that place anymore. Unbelievable. I have faith. They will come. I have faith. At least someone will be there. Hopefully Claude will be there. And these are the steps leading up to it. He's here. He's fucking here. You overslept, Teach. <laughs> Pretty rude to keep a fellow waiting like that, wouldn't you say? He's looking good. What's with that surprised look, my friend? You didn't really think I'd given up on you coming back, did you? Hey, I remember this. Can you feel it? A new dawn is finally here. Not just for us, though. No. For all of Fodlin. All right. Well, I got the most important boy back. It's been five long years. Where have you been, Teach? You don't really expect me to believe that you've been napping this whole time, do you? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember anything. <laughs> uh, it's a good one. Except that's not your lying face. I guess I've got no choice but to believe you. I have a lying face? Exactly Did I ever lie? To begin with, so it's not a huge stretch to imagine you sleeping for that long. And this is where you say, just kidding, right? If this is a rib, now's the time to fess up. It's the truth. You must be insane. And yet... Oh, fine. I believe you, okay? So at this point, Bolith has like a memory of just the year he spent at Garrick Mach and a little bit before that, I guess. Because he doesn't seem to remember anything else. But that means you don't know anything that happened after your last battle, right? Right. I guess it's on me to catch you up. As you can see, Garrick Mach was crushed by the Empire and was never restored. The monastery is in ruins and the town is in pretty bad shape too. Can you guess why? But he has been sleeping too. Hmm. It would seem that's one possible explanation, since you insist that's what you've been up to. Hey, I said I don't remember. All we know for sure is that Rhea suddenly vanished during that battle five years ago. The Knights of Seros have apparently been searching all over Fodland for her. Can we talk about how she's a dragon? But the fact that this place is in ruins tells me they still haven't found her. Like, people saw that, right? She killed people while she was a dragon. We must find her. True. I've got a mountain of questions I'd like to ask her after all. But I'm not so sure whether it would be good for her to return as the Archbishop. Rather, with her gone... Uh, never mind. This could be a dangerous conversation. Before we discuss the state of affairs in each territory, are you hungry? You must be. I have a storehouse full it's of meat. It's not much, but I did bring some food with me. Let's eat up and go from there. Nom nom. Well, let's eat. I assume he eats. People have noticed. People would have noticed if he didn't eat. Whew, I am stuffed. Even the most humble of meals taste great with the right company. By the way, Teach, do you remember the night before the ball? I know it was five years ago, but we promised that the Golden Deer House would reunite during the Millennium Festival. I see no festival. Today's the day we promised to meet up, but no one's here. It's <laughs> still early. They must not like us. <laughs> still early. True. There's still some daylight left. Let's wait just a little longer. You never know. Maybe someone will show up after all. Hilda, please. Come back. Lorenz, hey, too. Teach. Just waiting around sounds boring, so why don't we get in some exercise? You know, help with digestion and stuff. Kill some brigands? You must be in bad shape if you've been sleeping for five years. It'll do you good to get your body moving again. I wasn't sleeping. I never said I was. You want to work out? You want to play a game? Here, we'll play a game. Something like that. Look, if you come with me, you'll understand. Oh, and don't forget your weapons, okay? I hope I still have I all my stuff. make sure neither your leadership nor your skill with a blade have dulled. We're gonna kill some brigands, aren't we? Good old Fire Emblem. Start with killing brigands as always. Uh, I like new beginnings. They're always fun. In the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, Imperial Loyalist Cornelia has subdued all regions of the former royal house of Blathed to prevent further revolt. Prince Dimitri has been sentenced. Now, the backbone of the former kingdom 
Houses Gautier and Fraldarius struggle to continue the resistance. A lot of names. I'm having trouble remembering them. Cornelia, operating out of the royal palace, has accepted the support of the Empire to build an army and plots to wipe out all remaining kingdom forces. Oh, shit. In the Leicester Alliance, House Regan leads an anti-imperial faction. Wait, while that's House her. Gloucester directs the Empire supporters. I think I remember her. Despite the undeniable threat of fracture, the Alliance's adept new leader, Claude, deftly maintains the outward appearance of a unified front. I thought we were more split up than that. That's gonna be difficult. In Enbar. The imperial capital of the Adrestian Empire, Oof. Emperor Edelgard, fights to strengthen her regime. She has extended her reach to the kingdom by inciting a coup and continues to draw its former lords under her influence in pursuit of controlling all of Western Fodland. Really, FE4. Very FE4. In the meantime, the Knights of Seros have been dispatched to find Archbishop Rhea, who remains missing despite their searching. Left unattended, the monastery at Garag Mach has fallen to ruin and become a haven for thieves. I hope I get to fight at the monastery. Like, with a map that looks like the monastery? That could be cool. Boing, boing. Okay, let's get me back into shape. I wonder if you keep your weapons and stuff. Like, I can't imagine they just erase all your weapons and everything, your gold. What if you start over with a new, like, whole thing? That'd be interesting, because I'm assuming I don't have access to, like, a forge for some time, at least. Like, no battalion guild or whatever. I wonder if my things reset or not. You, you can't ass I assume the training you gave your students is gonna, like, stay handy, but... I do remember people telling me things like... Claude, having, like, a new the class. Yeah, there we go. Apparently they're trying to run off with treasures from the oh, those are my old classes. What the... Intruders! Protect the goods! You're intruders. All right. This is gonna get expensive. Collect everything the thieves carried out. Okay. We have Boleth back, and he has the same inventory. Okay, so I think you just keep everything, right? Yeah, it looks like we keep everything. Wife and master. What the fuck does that mean? A Lord of the Skies riding aloft the mighty wyvern. That's cool. Yeah, okay, so uh, that looks just like a normal wyvern rider, right? Looks like it. I mean, I have more move, but I have like two move boost. Why do you have a fail mob? What the fuck is that? Heroes Relic, Crest of Regan. Crest Bearer can use Fallen Star. Oh, wow. Uh, 18 Might, holy god. I uh, want to try that out at some point. Well, I see a lot of guys with bows. So it might be dismounting time. I can kill this guy. Oh boy, there's a lot of guys in here. Let me zoom out a little bit. So, defeat the commander is the goal. A pretty big thief hideout. This looks like it's actually the ruins of the monastery to me. Like, this should be the start of a town that leads up a hill and you got all these houses up here. Oh, there's the bandit leader. Polardo. Got a silver sword. Uh, just normal thief skills from what I can see. Nothing too special. Uh, yeah, just a thief, literally. Then we still seem unpromoted. Well, let's just highlight the archers and go from there. So here's an archer. Um, Here's an archer. Here's an archer. Those are the only guys I'm afraid of, really. And uh, you're an archer. So, we kill this guy. And maybe that guy, can we reach him? What's my strategy? Okay, we can, oh, I have a different voice now? Okay. Kill these two. We're still on the threat of some archers. There's also another guy here. This is actually a sniper. Sniper, no sniper. Okay, I am gonna take out. Let's see. Take out this guy at the very least. And then we'll see how it goes from there. Uh, the thieves will probably wanna run away, but. I really wanna try to deal with the snipers right now. Looks like Boleth doesn't have a range weapon right now. He's gonna have to go up close and personal. But I think he has to move for it. Okay, this guy looks like quite a bit bulky, actually. Quite a bit more bulky than the enemies we fought before. I honor. must lead them well. There you go. Level up my battalion. Looks like the same one I left with, which is interesting considering I like fell down a river and stuff. Okay. Um, I want to go like here. It's out of range of everything dangerous, I think. And then Claude can like come to me. Try killing this guy. 
Be interesting. Uh, it doesn't look like you can do it in one hit, actually. Uh, maybe with a bow. Maybe that will do. Iron bow. Not quite, actually. We need... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I got this. I got this. Oh, this is a very bad accuracy, though. <laughs> maybe I should have cursed out of him, but hey, we got through it. We're all desperate, aren't we? All right. Be bows. Some things you can't learn in a book. What'd you learn? I didn't learn anything. I guess you should have had more books then. Um, let's go in this forest. It's not gonna help him, but it's gonna prevent enemies from taking it later. Dang. That guy is not dead because we don't double. Wait. This is a pretty big map for a map that's like. Um, I don't know what am I supposed to do? I, I only have two people, so I'm kind of curious as to how I'm supposed to kill these people with two characters. What I'm saying. Yeah, very close. Very close, guys. Good job. Yeah, I do have that, that gambit on the left or on claw that will protect me, but it will also stop enemies from hitting me. Or like stop enemies from dying, which is kind of bad. Okay, so. I guess I'll kill some thieves this turn and go from there. I don't know what's gonna happen for the rest of the chapter, but I have a feeling killing thieves is good for now. Uh, unfortunately, my hit rates is bad and I can't double. I could fail not, but it seems like a huge waste. And the hit rate is also bad. Alright, uh, how about do this? Bring axe, no. Creator sword could work, I guess. Kinda dumb, but. It might be the most accurate option we've got. Kill this guy. This thief right here. Let's put him in such a way that he can like link attack a boss. He's alright to me. Another victory. Almost a beast sword. I don't know what that will do for us. Chest key. We'll just put that in combo for now. I like how I have like all my weapons. Okay, so I'm gonna stand like. Um, yeah, here's fine. Okay, right there. I'm gonna shoot this guy down. This thief. Actually, there's another thief right here. Wait, you just have a droppable thing. I don't care about that. Uh, but you're an assassin with a droppable leather shield, so I'll take you down first if I can. Armor plus. It's not gonna work though. Man, Claude, why are you so weak? Um, you could see what Gambit, what uh, Fall Star does. Well, there's a lot of damage. That's, that's all I can say really. It's pretty accurate too. Let's see, uh, Combat Arts, Fall Star. There's four uses though. Just to kill this asshole, I don't think that's worth it. I'm gonna trade with Bleth, give him his Iron Axe back or something, work my creator sort of a little bit, like a true pitfaller. And I'm just gonna try to hit this guy with uh, whatever I want. Oh wait, oh, we've gotta do it this way I guess. Uh, well, just Iron Bow this guy, hopefully hit. We have close counter anyway, we can counter with this bow. Nice card wheel, my friend, nicely done, nicely done. Appreciate it. Let's see how we roll now. This guy's dead. Like, gotta punch him twice or die. Dog. All is going to plan. Whoa, everything going to Kaikoku. I can promote once I have I'm my base back. Oh, he's just gonna disturbance me. Right. I mean, not gonna hit me, right? Yeah, it's not gonna hit me. Nice dodge. Nice dodge. This guy's dead too. Predictable. Oh, Predictable. It won't be in vain. Voice sounds very different now. To me. Maybe it's just me. Maybe he just has new quotes. Oh, hello. Who are you? The barbarity is even <gasps> worse than the rumors. It's him. On my honor as a noble, I will expel these ruffians. You're in a pretty back corner. Oh, hey. Today was supposed to be a happy day. But the monastery is in such disrepair. Oh shit, they're here. Over there. Is that the professor and the others? They're back. Oh shit. They're looking mighty good. Professor, you're alive. Guess we better Wow, she looks amazing. <laughs> you finally made it. I suppose virtue still exists in this crazy world after all. Oh my god, they look amazing. I love her portrait. It looks so nice. I'm a little surprised that they're keeping everything they brought. I guess they fled from the battlefield with their weapons or something. That's fine. Didn't expect that. But hey, cool. Back to as she was. I guess that means I won't have to go over the stats once again. Damn. That's a really nice portrait. Did they change this? Yeah, they even changed it in the battle. Wow. Let me get a, get a good look at you, too. Let me look at you. Oh, wow. Looks so much prettier now. So cool. Okay, what about 
What about you two? I know Loren's got a new haircut. I already knew that. Um, Steady now. Hey, he looks more. He sounds more confident too. Wow. <laughs> so cool. I don't know if they're like happy being stuck in a corner like this though. But I'm glad I get more units now because two unit chapters are usually kind of boring. Kind of same-ish. A uh, few unit. Oh my god, majestic hairdo, majestic. That's so good. Finally learned how to do his hair. That's great. I love it. Excellent. Couldn't have been done better. You know, at times good by itself is no guarantee for excellence, but this is some excellence right here. Okay, let me see how I'm gonna tackle this. At least I get my more units to use with, to do stuff with. Okay, so you guys have like, how much AS? Hold on, let me check. You have 19, you probably have the same, right? 19, yeah. Okay, the rest, how much you got? 14 with Sagitte, well, um, we can use you to like, we can rally speed if you have it. I don't think he has it any right now though. Actually, it looks like he does. I think I gave it to him. We can put him up to, Shall let's we? see, what if you equip like fire, 17 AS, we can rally him to 21. Or we can just expose him at 17 and not rally. Like, we can put him in this forest over here probably. Let's see. Yeah, like if we dance. Okay, we're just gonna put Ignat in the forest. We're gonna dance for Lorenz. Not going to go for him anyway. Like, what if he went. Oh, he can't really reach you. Through. You knew! Okay, we can rack now, rock. We probably won't kill. Oh, it does actually kill. Okay, but that's gonna. Let's see. How many enemies are gonna go for you if I, could, if I do that? Just two. Okay, we're just gonna nuke this guy then. If he goes wrong, whatever. I assume I still have my Defined Pulses. I'm just gonna start killing things. A nobleman does his duty. Oh shit. And he has the stride, I think. Oh wait, he has the, he has the AoE heal. Stride is on uh, Mariana still, I think. Okay, Hilda, help me out. I need your help right here. Oh shit, we can talk. Cool, let's do that. Professor, boy am I glad to see you. How did we end up in this situation? I know, man. Never ask the professor. He doesn't know shit. Well, hit rates on these guys are awful because the forest and their high dodge rates, but... We'll get something done, I think. <gasps> Not at this rate, though. Maybe it's time for some curved shots. Leonie, you can cur curved shot, can't you? How about arts? Um, curved shots. And it actually works. Maybe this will get the job done. And then Hilda will give us a damage boost, maybe. And get the job done that way, because this guy is annoying me so much. Alright, Wyvern Brigade, let's get in there. Um, this is sublime. Sublime training sword. Okay, it doesn't actually have that much more hit rate than the training axe, so... Or we can Iron Sword Plus, that's like very accurate, I think. Yeah, that's good. Didn't, didn't need to boost from Hilda, but oh boy. This could turn the tide. Alright, let's position him as close to possi as possible to the snipers. We can take those out next turn. Better shield, we don't need that. We have a martyring on him. Okay, Claude can't really go anywhere safely. I mean... Could just, like, this. Curve shots, steel roll. That actually works, believe it or not. And the only other bow guy is over here. So if we like, take this guy's range off for a moment, yeah, we can curve shot that guy to death and clean up a bunch of enemies at once, which I want to. Cleaning up enemies is my favorite. And it's not near any force, so we're gonna get a bunch of kills on the enemy phase too. And this is a hundred hits, so I think it's safe. Man, there's too many enemies, man. Way too many. Goodbye, friend. I love all of the post time skipping so far. You know, I expected Boleth's. Oh shit, we had the plus bow, that's cool. I expected Boleth to look different too. Like, I thought maybe at one point that his, uh, his Super Saiyan hair, you know, would be the different look that he gets at the time skip. Which in a way is true, but he got it a little bit earlier. Looks like he doesn't double here. I need some help with that. I do have a speed wing like, in my convoy somewhere. That might be good on Claude. Alright, this is a bit dangerous, please kill. But it's like the only enemy that can attack him, I think. Maybe there's like one more. But... You could best me. Yeah, you got out on top. Ah oh, damn, you're looking good, Lorenz. Good, but not enough. Still ever ambitious. I have like new voice lines and everything, it's so cool. It's like playing with an old new super cool shit to do a lot of damage. And he's gonna die too. Lorenz, I thought you'd be fine. Apparently this this guy was stronger than expected. Yeah, this is a lot stronger than expected. Ouch. Oh, no, no, no. oh shit. To think I'd meet my end in a place like this. Wow, that happened way too soon. Too soon. 
Vip Lorenz. Alright, we're playing on nine this game. Of course we're not doing that. Of course not. Okay, begin play phase. Uh, the lower part was fine. Yeah, yeah. We know your guys are coming back. Okay. So, uh, what was the ammo again? I think it was like a curve shot and then kill or something. I think exactly, it was actually Yoni who did the curve shot and he'll actually did like a miss or something. Let's just do that again because it worked out fine. Um, you first. We can like curve shot with Hilda too. One, two. I already did the talk, so I'm just gonna shoot this guy and miss. As we know. Because I don't think the turn wheel rerolls the whole thing. So combat arts, curve shots, iron bow plus, whatever. Shoot this right, guy to death. Next? Better shields. I mean, this is a little different, but it's fine. At the ready. Claude, curved shots. Uh, that guy over there. I would do it from here. Close. Or actually, I'd want to do it from like a very accessible position like this one. Although, I don't want to be in range of uh, this bloody guy over here. What's my strategy? But I guess we're going here. In combat arts. No, wait, you're Boleth. Um, first Claude. Here he is. So hard to tell your godly wyverns apart, man. Combat arts. Curved shots. Iron bow kill. Okay. That outcome. was fine. It would have been better to just revert to this point then, but whatever. Whatever, we're here anyway. Okay, so Lorenz actually has like way too low HP to like risk this kind of thing. So we should be a little more careful. I would like to bait the sniper though. Uh, what if we just go into that forest over there? And go from there? And then we'll get attacked get attack by like the same enemies, but if we just equip like a fire and a rally speed, uh, like a good chance to dodge and everything. Uh, I could even like equip an iron lance instead. If I really want to, but I don't think I do. Steady He's gonna now. rally speed. That helps. Okay, now he has 21 AS. Good enough for me, I guess. And then Big Fool. I'm just gonna put him like uh, here. Uh, we could like hit that guy. That's too bad. Can I can even kill him that way? That's good. I must lead them well. Very well led. Well done. And we're going here, and we're gonna wait. This guy comes up for a little bit of damage, gets countered for a lot. Mm, ashes and dust, is that a new one? Or did I give him that one right before the last battle? You never know. Oh, the minor Gloucester crests. I think this adds a bit of damage. I think. Not entirely sure. Anyway, Sniper's gonna be distracted now, so that means that place is gonna be much safer for my Wyvern squad. Please miss. Oh shit, that hurt so much. He's low now. Do have our Dancer available though. Okay. Get that off for a minute. Um, let's make sure Lorenz is not getting into anything dangerous here. I can okay, still so fight. You can attack at 3 range, fortunately. Uh, oh wait, you can't, I think. Yeah, I don't think you can. He needs a staff for that, I think. He has a magic staff, but it doesn't increase his range as far as I know. So I'd like to like dance for him. Let's see, what do you want to do? You want to kill him, of course. Uh, do you have healing items? It doesn't look like he has any healing items on him. That's bad news. That's bad news, Bears. Uh, Marianne, please get in here soon. <laughs> oh boy, this is a little dangerous. Let's see, what if Ignatz kills this guy? I can't really come up with a satisfactory solution here. Uh, I guess uh, Hilda to the rescue then. Yeah, I guess. I can't really get very far. If only I had stride. This is some dangerous shit. Hilda had like a concoction or something? Oh. Okay, I can trade it one to Hilda. Move her over here. It doesn't get very far though. This is precarious. Maybe we should have moved up here in the first place. Yeah, I know how we're gonna solve this. Can't kill the sniper. But then we just die to all the other enemies. I guess uh, if we don't dodge here, then we're just, we're just kind of fucked. Damn it. Okay. Um, big fool. Over here. Kill this guy to free up the place a little bit. I might have to do that. Uh, yeah, we have to do this. Okay. Not very accurate, I know. Alright, I'm gonna turn wheel a bit. This is looking precarious as hell. Let's turn wheel a little bit. It's, uh, there's no good way out of this. Let's see. Okay, so I don't mind this whole thing. 
But I th I'm gonna move. Hey, yeah, I'm gonna move this squad north to help them out. A little more north. Okay, take out the sniper. Ready. I still like that. Like this assassin is like whatever. He's not that big of a threat right yet. Anyway, he only has stuff to take care of. Him. I'm still gonna shoot that guy. The curve shot and just give it to him. I'm sorry, but I must. Yeah, exactly. And then I'm just gonna my fly over here. And this is just only one sniper here anyway. Can I just kill this guy straight up? Looks like I can, but I just take a bunch of damage in return. It's not great. Not ideal. I can also go in here and help him out a little more next turn. Like maybe I can get him up, have him, have him up close. Because I got rid of the sniper there now, so I have like a lot less to fear here. Even this guy a little no bit. Oh, back. sorry for skipping that. That was like intuitive. It actually killed him, surprisingly. Oh, that has a concoction, that's cool. I'm gonna keep that around. And uh, yes, doesn't have close conquer, I think. Or I remember, so I'm gonna go and hide a little bit. Okay, this guy's still gonna go for me, but that's okay. Uh, now, let's see. They might go towards me still, hurt me. But at least I'll have Shall someone we? nearby to take care of them. I could also just stay in this corner, they might not move towards us. If they do, that's fine too. We'll heal that in that direction too. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep him in the corner for now. I'm gonna rally speed still. And like still move towards that place a little bit. But I'm gonna keep him safe. My I'm orders? Leone, like, let's see. How dangerous is this? This guy probably doubles her, because my Leone's not that great. 27 attack speed. Yeah, it's not gonna be great for her. Let's just keep her out of range and then go for plot instead. He's gonna disturb him, that's fine. Just sneak up on this guy. That should be a lot better. This guy's running towards me, but I'm prepared this time. I think the most fun in Fire Emblem is when something goes horribly wrong, but you have to fix your mistake later by doing a bit of a better job thinking out things that are gonna happen in the future. Alright, assassin guy. You try hitting me now. 35 bit. Pathetic. Pathetic! Nice one. It's gonna be the last enemy phase, by the way, because we're already at 31 minutes. And you're coming up. Give me a bit of damage. That's okay. That's okay. And you're walking up as well. But now we're in a much better position. Okay. Damn. That time skip, man. Those portraits. Okay. I'll see you guys for the next part. We're going to finish this map. Uh, I will try not to forget these chests. Uh, I don't have any thieves. Oh, there's a lot of chests here. Jesus Christ. There's a lot of, lot of things. But as long as you don't kill this guy, it's fine. So I'm going to grab all the chests and beat this whole map next time. Until then, peace.